Welcome to the 10th Annual Bucharest Tattoo Convention, put on by Costi of Next Level Tattoos, and managed by Maria and an amazing crew of people who are really putting on an inspirational event. It's been amazing meeting uh, tattooers from all around the world who are, are coming to, to experience this. Uh, Costi has been making friends for a hell of a long time, so pretty much everyone you talk to here is you know, a great person, and uh, as well as talented or has an eye for quality. Romania is a beautiful country, as you can tell from all the castle footage and some of the amazing scenery that's out here. And, the, the city of Bucharest is, is a mix of old Europe architecture and Soviet style kind of architecture. And the venue is, is really unique. An old European uh, ballroom is, uh, is just uh, does so much for the energy. Every single tattooer as you walk through the floor is doing uh, world-class art. They're, they're pushing it and they really care. I met a tattooer yesterday on Thursday. He took a look at uh, one of the websites that has lots of tattoo events and there was 10 of them going on that he could get to. But, between the, the world-class lineup, Robert Hernandez, Bob Tyrell, uh, Barbara Scharzen, uh, between all of the, the amazing tattooers here, he knew this was gonna be the place that he was going to this weekend and he didn't regret it. Okay, so we're going to head inside and start interviewing some of these amazing tattooers so that it's not just talk, but you get to see what, uh, what's going on here. Thanks again, as long as you keep watching, we'll keep making these videos. Cheers. I'm here at the 10th annual Bucharest Tattoo Convention with an amazing tattooer, Ovi. And he's taken the time in the middle of his day to talk with us. So uh, thank you very much for uh, having this conversation and letting us know your thoughts about tattoos. Thanks to you. So let's start off with an easy one. Uh, wh what do you love about tattooing? About tattooing, I'm, I, I love everything about it. But, uh, you know, uh, less the customer that uh, do not let me uh, translate the feelings in mm -hmm. uh, drawing, in, uh, in my design as I wish. Sure. But... Uh, Everything that means tattooing, you know, is, uh, I'm in love with it. It's a, there's so many uh, amazing aspects of it that help us have richer lives. It's, uh, yeah, it, it, truly every aspect is amazing for sure. The, the, the clients that you're attracting, so you, they're giving you ideas and you're creating original art around it? Or? Yeah, I always trying to do that. Not oh. to copying uh, other design uh, from internet, from uh, engine researching for Pinterest, Google, other yeah. artists, uh, and uh, but not always is so easy because you know some customers uh, came and tell me you know I want it like this but uh, no changing no nothing only like this but uh, and, and you find that will end up compromising the tattoo if the if the client doesn't necessarily trust you. Fortunately, the trust is always. Uh, uh, from the client, you know, uh, if there's no trust, it's the, the client don't came to me. Perfect. Uh, uh, yeah. Finally, the, the customer just let the design uh, be done like I wish, because awesome. uh, uh, sometimes, you know, for too many modifications about the custom from the customer is a lot of mistakes, on, uh, that's not good for the final result. Sure. No, and the client sure. there will not be happy. I'm here with Lolita at the 10th annual Bucharest Tattoo Convention, and I'm wicked ecstatic that she's taken the time out of her day to talk to us. Uh, when I was surfing the Bucharest Tattoo Convention's website, uh, I immediately caught her style. So yeah. thank you very much for taking the time to thank do this. You. Thank Absolutely. you. Very much. Tattooing encompasses so many positive aspects of our life, but maybe you could tell us a little bit about what you love about tattooing. Uh, what I love about tattooing is that it gives me the possibility of uh, traveling the world, knowing different people, knowing amazing countries, amazing artists, and um, sharing stories with people and uh, doing my art in someone that's gonna take it forever and remember that as a good experience. Absolutely, it's a, uh, an experience they're gonna remember until they're dead. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, do you find that your clients uh, undergo a transformation when they're getting tattooed in their personalities? Or? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think that um, most of the people we are always growing and we are always seeking for this growth and uh, I think that uh, getting tattooed is part of it, you know, somehow it's um, maybe you're going through a harsh moment and, oh, and uh, tattoo is going to mean something to you, you know, and um, yeah, I think it's, it's part of the, the transformation, yeah. Oh, absolutely. So I'm here with Roy from Israel at the 10th Annual Bucharest Convention. It's a, an exciting show, and I uh, saw him getting tattooed by Bob, and he's in Bob's booth. And uh, So thanks for uh, taking the time to do an interview with us. Thank you. Absolutely. So let's start off with uh, some uh, softballs. You know, What do you love most about tattooing still? Um, I've uh, always been attracted to uh, tattooing since I was 
a little kid. Uh, it wasn't like like now that everybody has tattoos. It was something that was quite rare sure. to see. About what year? Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe in the 80s. Yeah. 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 The first time I was exposed to uh, tattoos. Uh, it was very rare to see it uh, to see it in the streets. Sure. But I was an artist since I was very very young, and that was very fascinating yeah. for me to see something this kind of art. Yeah. So. And did you have any family that was tattooed? No. Nope. Was your first experience? No. Nope, no. Where I grew, nobody has tattoos. Even in the streets, it was very rare to see someone with uh, with a tattoo. Usually, I would have uh, seen it only in uh, TV or movies. Uh -huh. And it was something very special, yeah. so uh, it was very, it was very curious for so, me. And did you take so. art classes when you were younger? Or no, did you, uh, no, no, just... no, no. I was uh, I was uh, drawing since I was two, three oh, cool. years old, and uh, later I was just you know uh, doing for class works and uh, for for myself mostly, like as a habit. I never uh, did something profession professional with my uh, drawing until my teens, let's say 16, 17, I started to charge some money for drawing and uh, nice. I work in, uh, you know, uh, a print uh, t-shirts um, shop okay. to draw yeah. for them. It was before internet that everything was yeah. very easy to make, before Photoshop and stuff like that was very uh, common. So, yeah. so it was a good job for, for a kid. You were a practicing draw. artist though, right? So you were, you were yes. creating designs? Yes. So I, after then, when in my in my teens, I started to uh, to get my influence from a, a tattoo magazines okay. to draw to draw them to uh, draw them on my friends uh, for Halloween yeah. and for parties. Sure. Hello, I'm here with Alex and Joanna at the 10th annual Bucharest Tattoo Convention. I'm ecstatic to be able to talking to uh, two really inspirational tattooers, and there's only space here for two of us. So what I'll do is I'll get behind the camera and then ask them questions and we'll do this a little bit uh, kind of discussion panel style so yeah, sure. you can both answer uh, and yeah, discuss sure. amongst yourselves. Yeah. For sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm Jana Faferko, I'm from Poland. Uh, for now I'm working in my own studio, Black Pearl Tattoo. You can find me on the Instagram like Jana Faferko. So it's the easiest way. Um, yeah, I used to travel a lot and I started with my own studio five years ago, and here I'm first time, so later I'm gonna say a little bit more about this. My name is Alex, and I'm from Moldova, and at the moment I work in Holland in my own shop, which I opened this year, so it's pretty new. You can find me on Instagram like Eddie Pancho, so yeah, you can check my profile. So the first question is gonna be an easy one. Uh, what do you love about tattooing? So for me tattooing it's kind of freedom, I, for me it's really hard work, it's not like easy work so I come to job and I do only what I love because I taking responsibility for this what I do but also I can make something what it's kind of my passion, I can grow up like an artist, I can develop but also travel, meet a lot of new people and also I really really love how many things I can make, how I can change during the weeks and months and this is really really hard work but interesting and giving me like a lot of good energy inside. Yeah, for me tattooing also is like a passion so you always learn something new, you never can be sure what's gonna happen <laughs> tomorrow so that's what I like, these emotions uh, make us uh, feel like complete. <laughs> in harmony in, uh, with, with ourselves. Well rested. <laughs> oh, yeah, last night I slept like a stone. You can come. Yeah. I told you. Okay, let's do it. Thank you so much for taking the time, <laughs> Kasti. I know it's been a long weekend, but uh, it was amazing. Yeah. Finally, after uh, two days after the show, we can <laughs> discuss a bit. Yeah, yeah, with a, a little, maybe, hopefully a clear head. Like I said, it was an amazing show, and I talked to uh, dozens of artists, and they all had an amazing time, and, and great things to say about you, to, to bring them to Bucharest and to Yeah, I, I'm glad the, the this edition it was good, you know. Everybody was happy, and... Yeah, have a good uh, good review after the, the convention. Everybody is super excited about awesome. it. Awesome. Uh, now, what have motivated you to make a tattoo convention? I, I know it's a, a tremendous amount of effort, and this is the 10th year anniversary, so uh, do yeah. you remember back when you started thinking about it? Or? I was, 
like 15 years ago, I started to travel to the convention. I remember I was the uh, first time uh, in Vienna, Austria, oh, yeah. and I, I was there, I was impressed, super impressed what's happening there, mm -hmm. because it was my first convention, you know. And uh, after I traveled a bit in France and after in uh, Germany, and I spoke with, Emil, uh, with uh, Ovidio. Hey, uh -huh. Ovidio, let's do it something in Romania, because in Romania need to have one convention like that. And we try to figure out how to, to make to one convention yeah, to start. But it was very hard. We tried to do the first one in Sibiu. It was pretty good, super uh, cool. And after, uh, I say, I try to do in Bucharest, because I see more potential about the clients and mm -hmm. all, all the, maybe all people that are more open mind. And I try to, to work for the Bucharest convention. It was super hard. I remember because I, I didn't know what to expect. Anything, yeah, uh, yeah. And no guidance, to, you didn't have yeah, no mentor. Exactly, nothing, yeah. yeah. But uh, I remember I want, uh, we live in, used to live in communism like many years, over uh -huh. 30 years. And doing Romanian it was forbidden, the, the tattoos, to make tattoos, to get tattoos, yeah, yeah, illegal. And uh, I take, I say, if I do the convention in Bucharest, I do in uh, one very important building in, in Bucharest, like, nice. Uh, Sala Palatului, they call it Sala Palatului, where the Ceausescu ex-president, they make all the, the, his discussion okay. to talk with the, with the parliament and all the awesome. shit in that moment. So the first edition I, I made be in that place. In a good spot. So in a good spot, yeah. Like put uh, tattooing in a, in a good face forward. Yeah, but and Ceausescu turn, uh, to, can turn around in the, his grave. <laughs> right, right, right. Awesome, nice. Aha, uh -huh, I see. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. We have a lot more interviews coming up from the 10th anniversary Bucharest Tattoo Convention. And again, thank you so much, Costi, from Next Level Tattoos, that, uh, for having us out. It was uh, a brilliant time. You could find Tattoo Now at these upcoming conventions. The uh, DC Tattoo Expo, January 11th to the 13th. I'm uh, going to catch up with uh, Damon Conklin's coming, uh, Jesse Smith and Lou Screw Tattoo. A whole mess of amazing tattooers will be there. Uh, then it's off to the Golden State Tattoo Expo, January 24th to the 26th in Pasadena, California. Uh, another amazing lineup. I'm wicked excited to be catching up with so many brilliant tattooers. The plane tickets are insanely reasonable out to LA this, for, for some reason, so it's not too late for you to get your butt out there. If you're a tattooer or a collector who is interested in doing a video interview or business consulting or just a business seminar uh, or simply just uh, chatting over a tasty beverage, shoot us an email, management at tattoonow.com. We love connecting with people that we meet virtually uh, in real life. I mean, that's really what it's all about, making real world connections with real people doing really awesome things. The next episode is currently being edited. Emmy Blacksheep from France has an amazing studio and has successfully apprenticed uh, professional tattooers. Uh, it's a great interview with her. And then we have two original painters who talk about how they carved their way into making a living at or doing original artwork. Uh, Chet Zar is a, a fantastic creepy painter and Gabe Leonard is known for his Wild West exaggerated caricatures. Both phenomenally talented and they do have a, a great influence on the tattoo world. And then the closing out the show, we have an interview from the Bucharest Tattoo Convention with uh, Joanna Fafurco, I apologize for my pronunciation, and A.D. Pancho. It's so awesome to be able to be bringing you such exceptional talent from, from literally all around the world. So as long as you keep watching, we'll keep uh, catching up with these tattooers and, and presenting you with uh, quality tattooers, both young and old, who are, are bent on leaving a positive mark on the population, on the world. It's, um, it's really unbelievable, so I can't thank you enough for watching. Please check out our sponsors in the show notes, give them a try, let them know that Tattoo Now sent you, and then let us know uh, what you think of their products. If you are interested in sponsoring the show, please do not hesitate to give us a call. 413-585-9134 is our office line. The intro music is Care of Kelly Gromley, an amazing tattooer. Please Google him, Kelly Gromley. I'm glad to finally have his credit in there. If you've made it this far, we want to let you know in on the secret how to have a proper critique. If, if you're a tattooer, or if, if you're just a tattoo collector looking to get more tattoos, you wanna know how to properly critique artwork, right? So, check out this video. Nick Baxter does an amazing presentation from one of the Paradise Artist Retreats, and you will be in for a great ride. It's about 40 minutes, but it is well worth watching if, you're, if you do tattoos, or if you're thinking about getting tattoos, this video is going to be of great value to you.